Welcome back on this Sunday morning. Steve Cashel, Dr. Brian Cole, Sports Medicine Weekly. Time now for our Ask the Doctor segment. It gives our listeners the opportunity to have Dr. Cole address their specific sports injury issues. It's very easy to submit a question, and we thank you for doing so. Go to our website, sportsmedicineweekly.com. On the homepage, you'll find a link underneath the photo of Dr. Cole and yours truly. Just click on that link, and you can submit your question. Dr. Cole got a couple of good ones from our listeners. And one even relates to last week's show from a listener who was tuning in. But the first one is this. Dr. Cole, what is the difference between rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis? Steve, that's a, another great question. So osteoarthritis is otherwise known as degenerative arthritis. And that's, I would say, sort of a genetically pre-programmed loss of cartilage it can be related from trauma. You know, there are people who injure their joints and downstream actually have progressive loss of cartilage. That's what most of our grandparents have. That's what you and I will get. More likely than not, there's 60 million people or more who are diagnosed with osteoarthritis in this country, most of which, however, don't have symptoms, which is great. Uh, rheumatoid arthritis is really almost like a medical problem to the extent that it's your body sort of attacking itself. And it's involved, it basically is an autoimmune phenomenon where the immune system is sort of overactivated, and it can actually attack the joints. And it can be the small fingers, it can be the shoulders, it could be multiple joints at a given time. And the interesting thing is that rheumatoid arthritis, when I was a resident at the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York, it was a surgical condition. And it's the one condition that I think people don't, they fail to realize how far we've come because it is almost a medical problem now that is completely treated with drugs and or injections and can often av uh, avoid surgery from an orthopedic perspective, which is really fascinating. That's one of the major advances of the last 20, 20 to 25 years is that anyone who has rheumatoid arthritis of a joint can often prevent the progressive disease that comes about in the joint with medicine rather than surgery, which is often required for osteoarthritis. So big difference uh, in their presentation and their cause. Okay. And Dr. Cole, final question uh, from a listener. He goes back to last week. Dr. Cole, following up on last week's show on elbow injuries to youth pitchers, uh, how can a parent tell if their son has an elbow fracture or a torn ligament that would possibly lead to Tommy John surgery? Are there specific symptoms? Well, the first thing is what we talked about last week, Steve, is that young people with open growth plates rarely tear their onocleidal ligament, uh, but they often, with a high degree of stress or velocity, can actually fracture or break the bone right near where the ligament inserts. And as I mentioned, we've had a run of those over the last couple of weeks. It's crazy. I sometimes will go eight, six months to a year and not have them, and I've had three or four uh, just over the last month. And I think it's just because of the startup uh, stress. But first is age, and young uh, males typically uh, rarely will tear their onocleidal ligament younger than the age of 15. It can happen, but it's usually a fracture. Um, the x-ray is what ultimately makes the determination, to be honest. But with growth plates are closed, it rarely becomes a fracture, and it's often the ligament that gets pulled off at the beginning of it or the origin or the insertion. So it's really age-related, but x-ray makes the final diagnosis. And then finally, sometimes you need an MRI when the x-rays are normal. Okay, great stuff, Doc. We are out of time. Uh, Great show. Wishing you all the best in the week ahead, and we'll talk with you again next Sunday morning, 7 a.m. Central, for another edition of Sports Medicine Weekly. You got it, Steve. Have a great week. Many thanks to our producer, Shane Reardon, and to David Cole for managing our website and our business operations, as well as Samantha Smith from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush. Final reminder, uh, podcast segments are always available to hear on Sports Medicine Weekly through our blog, Apple, Google, Spotify, Pandora, YouTube, iHeartRadio, and many other podcast channels. For Dr. Brian Cole, I'm Steve Cashel saying so long on this Sunday morning. We thank you for listening to Sports Medicine Weekly. Be back again next Sunday, 7 a.m. Central, with a brand new edition, only on 670 The Score.